In Saturday's T-Day game, the Trojan offense was on fire, putting up a combined total of 55 points. Altogether, the Trojan offense had 455 yards passing and 172 yards rushing, but there are still holes needed to be filled. We certainly got a lot of production to refill on uh, offense and, you know, guys that will be accountable to being where they're supposed to be for Corey and the other quarterbacks and, you know, uh, where, where we can uh, can uh, get the ball to them in places where they can make plays for our offense. The biggest void needed to be filled is due to the loss of do-everything receiver Jarrell Jernigan. Jernigan led the Trojans in receiving yards, return yards, touchdowns, and all-purpose yards. While his presence will be missed, the Trojans are looking onward and upward, relying on names that may be unknown to Trojan fans. The receiving class this year is pretty good, you know, and then we have players coming back for uh, uh, sophomore, a lot of sophomores and, and freshmen stepping up, redshirt freshmen. And, uh, a lot of players live hungry this year. We got a bunch of new guys in. You know, coaches did a great job recruiting this year, getting some guys in that are really going to help us out. So I feel like, you know, I think you know, obviously we're going to miss the, the three guys we had, uh, and Jarrell and uh, Bruce and TB. But you know, I think we can fill those holes as we uh, move on. One player expected to contribute in the rushing and receiving game is running back Justin Albert. Albert was a three-star recruit from Prattville who walked onto Auburn in 2008. In 2009, he parted ways with the Tigers to join the Trojans and is finally getting a chance to show what he can do on a big stage. I've been out a couple years or so, but I mean, I just feel like I've been in this team, you know, like everybody's just playing together and whatever role I play or whatever I, role coach want me to play, I play it and I try to do it to the best of my abilities. One way the Trojan faithful can have confidence that the offense will work is due to the time quarterbacks put in with receivers. Timing. Knowing one's tendencies and building confidence is something that can only be built in time working together. Me and Corey have a good chemistry, and so do the rest of the receivers that we have on our team with Corey. I mean, it's just something that happened. I don't even know how much. I, I can't even explain it. It's just something that I'm, that I'm grateful to have with my quarterback because a lot of receivers don't have that chemistry with their quarterback. So I'm glad I got Corey. Matthew Russell, Troy Trojan Vision Sports.